zero 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 on the clock sending you all positive energy high vibes success on your entrepreneurship all love all positivity make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel you hit the like button and you leave me any comments or questions in my description below 21 on the clock today i'm going to be speaking about the energy of what moon phase you were born in i'm going to place a link in my comments below so you all will be able to see what moon phase you were born in once we have the understanding of the astronomical science the moon energy the sun energy the star energy we have the understanding of our personal characteristics and the energy of the collective consciousness as a whole okay it helps us to be in perfect alignment with nature and also in alignment with our true divinity one 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 on the clock <laughs> the power is amplified and i'm about to speak about the energy of one okay so as we tap into numerology energy and also the moon phases energy the zodiac phases energy we had the overstanding that they resonate together okay so one one is symbolic to new beginnings desires fresh starts action career independence self-discovery okay balancing relationships positive thinking balancing the mind the body and spirit as a whole okay hard worker self-reliant focusing on the goal okay building a strong foundation ambition this is great energy and intuitive okay so as we think of the new moon energy 222 was on the clock you hold the same energy as angel number one okay you are a creative being you love to create new things you love to tap into your soul desires you always like to start things you have many brilliant ideas just brewing inside of you okay you're always thriving with excitement you love adventures and you get bored really quick <laughs> you like to focus on a strong foundation okay you have several ideas and a great intellect okay you're the type of individual you have the animal instinct okay because you love to start new things when we think of one we think of new beginnings when we think of new moon we think of new starts okay and it's symbolic to the childhood wildest imagination once we start off on our spiritual journey we start to explore different aspects of ourselves for four on the clock and also different aspects of the world so we just like a baby once they step out on that bike and they just start to learn how to ride that bike they want to go all around they have fun they excited and they exploring different places to ride that bike on that's what new moon energy is symbolic to okay you have that inspiration that drive that passion that fire energy like mars okay so you're very great with the intellect very great with being creative but you have to have a balance because you love to start things so much that you can start them and then you don't finish so as we have the overstanding of astrology and moon phases energy just the astronomical science of the universe we have to use both aspects light dark 
our lows and our highs. We have to balance them out to create something beautiful. So you have to tune into the energy of being balanced with starting your projects and finishing them. Okay? The whole thing is finishing them because you're going to start several of them. Your lows is just like you have to be able to finish them. So you will be great to get a journal and journal of your inspiration, your creative abilities, okay? And focus on finishing them. Getting a plan and action of discipline, okay? And finishing them. And once you do, it'll help you to vibrate on a high frequency of love, 555. You will be able to bring forth your creative abilities into fruition okay and other than that you're very self-sufficient you are a beautiful being you have the introvert energy 616 on the clock you spend the most of your time alone once you are alone you focus on ascension you focus on drive and you have a great and excitement about you like you hold the energy far as Gemini's being social but you more resonate more with the energy of moving around adventures excitement Gemini's they don't like to keep still they love to move they love to go they love to adventure they love the excitement you hold that excitement that adventure energy like Gemini Okay, so you're always exploring the world. Want to do new things. Want to start new things because you have the energy of new moon. I always think, when you think of new moon, think of new starts. New starts, new beginning. New ideas, okay? You have great capabilities of visualizing skills, okay? And you're close to that intuitive okay and visualizing so you can really work good with manifesting your desires as well okay since you hold that energy of that deep intuitive energy okay you can be connected with the empath energy as well where you can feel others energy really good okay once you tap into that deep spiritual side okay because you're always manifesting, you're visualizing, and you have a body of creativity, okay? So if you hold a new moon energy, it's beautiful energy. Just make sure that you start to build that strong foundation, okay? Focus on it and challenge it to have your beautiful empire and create a harvest, Okay, you already have the ideas, they there. <laughs> you just gotta bring them out into the forefront and show the beautiful intellect and the beauty, the knowledge, the creative abilities you have in you. Express them outwards. Be a light, be of positivity, and be of love. And just know that anything you focus on, 858, anything that you put your energy into is going to manifest okay you have the energy to be self-sufficient you have the energy of a go-getter you have the energy of being your own boss you don't like to be told what to do by you know authority figures and it's just because you love the energy to hold to do things yourself okay to be the own boss okay and it's just the energy that you hold there's nothing wrong with that you know it's just some individuals that cling more to being self-sufficient okay we have more some individuals that are really like codependent and then we have some that's independent they more better alone okay they operate more better alone but we have to have a balance of 
light, dark, okay? We have to be able to take both aspects and balance them out, okay? Codependent and independent. So you have to be able to align with universal laws. Get out, be social, 10, 10, and just take the loads and balance them out to have a glorious reality. And we all have our highs and our lows. We all have our flaws and our strengths. And I always say, embrace the dark just as well as the light. Embrace the flaws just as well as the strength because it builds our character and it shapes us to who we are today. Okay? Always be familiar with that. So, if you have new moon energy phase in your chart, you are a beautiful soul. You are very creative. Use the fire inside of you and be brilliant. I love you all and I'm sending you all positive energy. One, one, one on the clock. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You hit the like button and you leave me any comments or questions in my description below. I love you and I'll be back with more. Peace and love.